Hello, welcome to yet another cube draft. Um, what a pack, right? We have Umizawa Jit, Burning Pot, and Voice. Um, Voice obviously not the better card. Um, I just said something. Um, it's obviously Burning Pot or Umizawa Jit in my eyes. I mean, Shane Lightning is fine if you want to force red. K guy if you want to force blue. Banishing Light, eh, maybe. But I think Umizawajit is a stronger card. Like, this is a creature based format most of the time. And Jit is, Jit is just bonkers. So I'll pick Jit. Maybe the Birdie Pot Wheels. Uh, here we have two options as well. We basically have Wolfier, Trading Rider, Avalanche Riders, um, Dictate, which actually two likes somewhat. But given that green is the heaviest in the creature format, I will go for green and pick up a Wolfier here. Especially when Burton Pot does wheel, we can actually get it and um, play a good green deck. The problem with that idea is that. Wow, we get a Mio. I'm just too big of a fan of, of this Planeswalker to pass it up. Uh, we can go blue green anyway, so that doesn't matter. Uh, there's also Evanson's Pilgrim, but I think the Mio is strong enough to pick here. The problem, of course, is with passing Burton Pot this early is that a lot of people will pick it or want to pick it. Um, I guess we go for the Prime Speaker. It's still early for this card, but it's a really good one. Um, especially, you know, it's a six drop to get into with Burton Pot if it wheels. But passing it early, as I was trying to say, means that someone to your left should pick it up pretty early. And draft back around it, which should cut green from my second pack. So maybe that's not a great idea, but I think Wolfier and so on is strong enough. There's Venser, Mystic Snake, uh, Revoker. I think Venser has a better upside, and Mystic Snake has more wheeling possibility. Um, I like Mystic Snake a bit more than Venser, but I think Venser is strong enough. Uh, as a card. It's more of a tempo card to be honest compared to actually being um, a control card but my deck should be able to handle tempo if I can get a bunch of early green cards um, some one mana like Soren's Huntmaster hmm <coughs> Can we splash for that? Because it is a good one. It's better than Wood Elves. Wood Elves into 5 drop. I think it should be, but. Now let's pick the Wood Elves. Uh, Huntmaster, definitely a good card. Can't really do anything with it though. There's Riptide Laboratory, which might wheel. And there's Pester Might. Uh, Pestin might the fact that it is flying in flash, I'll pick it up here. Um, although I would like the Riptide Lab, but I think I have to go for the Pestin might here. So this is not our opening pack yet. Uh, but given that we are going green and have Jit, Troll Aesthetic is a monster. So would like the Looter, but can't pass up a Troll here. Same with Tron, if Tron comes I have to pick Tron I think. I mean Hexproof with equipment is just too good. <clears throat> and we are gonna run a bunch of creatures. So this is the pack where we see if Burton Pot will or not. And I think it shouldn't. Could I would be pretty surprised Burton Pot wheeling pack one. Uh when you open it, so I mean it's still early on, people can jump into it or easy enough. Um so yeah it didn't wheel. I guess it's crafted war gear because it is an equipment. And it's Actually, uh, strong equipment. Dictate versus Preordain. Uh, we're not gonna go green. Oh, right, might as well pick up a Preordain here. Still looking for some early cards. There's not a lot in blue that is early, but there should be plenty in, in green. But as I said, like, one of these people should be in green due to the birthing pot. 
so that definitely has a downside for me. But it's still, like, Wolfir is so good, right? Uh, huh. I guess far away has the better upside. Although I'll likely won't play it. it. Should be a creature based control deck again. Uh, Trade Unit Riders are also passed and didn't wheel. Same with Manowar. But those packs weren't blue heavy, so I think any kind of blue player picks, picks those up. And I guess here we pick the Shivan Reef and put it in the red side. Like if we picked a Huntmaster, then the Shivan Reef would be really good. We would have a Huntmaster over Wood Elves here. That's why you pick up, you could pick up a Huntmaster early because you can get these kind of fakes. But then you have to prioritize the fix and blah blah blah. Um, not a lot of green exorans actually give you the option to get a red. I mean, Noble Hierarch doesn't even produce red, so that's not that easy to splash. Although it would give uh, me an advantage with Spester Might. I'm curious if Riptide Lab wheels. Um. I guess Reckoner is a stronger card, but Blink has some possibility. Uh, phew, let's pick the Ranger, does it really matter? And the Satyr, so no, Riptide Lab does not wheel. It's not really that great of cards, it just bounces a wizard. And this isn't even a wizard, like... What's all a wizard in this format? Maloko, Venser, Vendillion Click. Though I'm not 100% sure about the click. I think it is. Scavenging House, Ancestral Visions, Coralham Commander. Given that I was complaining about not having early drops. I might have to pick the use over Ancestral Visions because we are an aggressive deck or trying to be an aggressive deck. So I think the Ooze is better than Visions in my deck. And then maybe the Coral Helm Commander wheels. Yeah, I think we have to do it. Like, I don't think Ancestral Visions is better than Scavenging Ooze given the deck I'm trying to draft. Uh, we're more like apply early game pressure, push onto the mid game win in the mid game and never get to a late game. Well Ancestral Visions is more like I'm stalling in the early game. Um take over control in the mid game and win in the late game. Um which isn't really where I wanna be. And I should be getting cut from green in this pack anyway. So I need some help. I think Stern the Pefrit is better than the Bailout. There's also Domri, but I can't really pick that one up. Just think Stern the Pefrit, given that it's a 3 4 flyer, makes it better. And again, heavy on the trees, uh, which happens often if you draft blue. Like Wake Treasure would have been 3 as well. I don't know what I picked over Wake Treasure. Um. I don't think the Seaver Exarch is good enough. But I don't think Overgrown Battlement is great either. Maybe it's Deep Analysis, just to refill my hand. Overgrown Battlements would be fine if I had the pot, but I don't. The Seaver Exarch would just pass Splinter Twin, we don't have the fix. We could pick it up and maybe Splinter Twin wheels. Having a 1 4, yeah, sure, let's try it. Uh, Coast as a fix, Indrik Stomp Harl as a killing thing, or Sekishima. God damn it, something's wrong with my mouse. Okay, it's gone. Stomp Harl is a okay. The problem I find with it is that it's an obliged effect, so I'm gonna kill my own equipment. I think Coast or Sekishima is better. I do have some coming to play effects, so I'm gonna pick up the Sekashima. 
Chameleon Colossus. Yeah, sure. Um, I think it's better than the Curse Scroll because I'm top heavy enough that I should have like two or three cards in my hand. Cloudfin Raptor, not a great card. Um, it's good if you can drop a turn one, but if you have to like drop a turn three, just a crap card. So you have to have it in your opening science, which just makes it a bad card. There's a temple. Um, given that I just have two, <coughs> and I might pick up the Splinter Twin if I can get it. I think I have to go for the temple over these two or over this member. I uh, would obviously love having a dismember, I think, but given that you know we're somewhat going for the combo, I think I want the temple here. It's greedy, right? Um, because this member is a bunker card in a deck where I won't have a lot of removal, but I think I have to go for the temple. Um, that allows us to pick up Rawls Wreck or Rampant Rose. I think we go for the Rawls Wreck and maybe go three colors. In that case, I definitely would want it something else over the Wood Elves, uh, being the Huntmaster. Uh, sure, Trigon Predator is a good one. Uh, there's also Remand, but this is in my colors. Again on 3, um, not really happy with that, that I'm way too heavy here and way too low here, like I won't be doing anything in the early turns. And I I have seen only one accelerant which was Evacence Pilgrim and I picked something else over it because it was in like pack 2 or 3. So that's pretty shitty. Uh, Coral Hell Commander wheels, there's also Taiga. This is another hard one. Taiga allows this splash easier. It also allows me to get a splinter twin if it wheels. I think it's better than Coralham. The Coralham is a nice one. I think I have to go for the Coralham here, just in case splinter twin doesn't wheel. Uh, there's the bailouts. I don't know if it's this pack or next pack with the splinter twin. Plenty of red still in here. Please be a Splinter Twin. Nope. So Splinter Twin did not wheel apparently. Tech Edge will not play it. Is Rel's Wreck worth splashing? I don't think so. Not on its own. Uh, maybe with Prophetic Bolt it is. Prophetic Bolt is a nice one. Murder's Red Cap. Uh, given that it's our splash, we can't actually afford playing that, but okay. Uh, I guess Bushwhacker, but Sarcomancy. No, we can still ignore this. Like this was just a gamble, um, just in case we got the spin twin wheeling. But we didn't. Uh, I'm pretty surprised someone else picks up a spin twin when I ha both have Pester Might and Deceiver Exarch. There's only the other comp. There's no other combo, right? No, there's no other combo. Uh, we pick up a Bonkers 2-drop in Rofellas, but there's lots of Consecrated things. Given our deck, I think we have to pick the Rofellas. Uh, Consecrated things is a monster, but you know we're lacking here and I definitely want um, Accelerants to accelerate me to my late game. Or my mid game, um, Aerofellas has to be the pick in that case. There's Upheaval versus Frost Titan and Worm Call. Um, I don't think I've ever passed up on an Upheaval. It's also Farseek, uh, but I think if I pick this, one of those four should wheel. So. Put or six bomb drops, like worm coal and frost titan or six bomb drops. Um, I'm gonna go for the worm coal and hope frost titan or people wheels. It's a long shot. It's a very long shot. But maybe I can go forest, forest, Rofellos, forest, worm coal. <laughs> That's a greedy 
line. Uh, Phantom Center versus Phantasmal Image. Phantasmal Image is close to being a 4 draw, by the way. So I think Phantom Centaur is just a bit better than. It's also Jace Blaren, but that just puts more pressure onto my 3 drops. We already have Sakashima as a copy effect. I think I'll go for the Centaur, given that it's a hard card to remove. Um, the both of these are fine, but I think I have to go for Sphere of the Suns. Need more acceleration. Garrick over Ponder, sure. Maybe if I had Splinter Twin, I would slam Stomping Ground here. But given that I don't, I think I still cut these. Um, I think I go for the Everflow and Chalice here again. I uh, want to get more into my four drops. Then I'm not really a huge fan of this card. So let's go for the chalice. Uh, not really much we can play outside of repeal. So we'll pick the repeal. Temple of Misery, Trek is inside. Um, and the rest goes into my graveyard. I think Temple is better than. There's also back of negation, like I usually want a single counter and I've already said that before. That there are usually one single counter in my deck. Uh, we're only running two colors, so maybe we don't really need to fix. Impact is better. Solemn, sure, maybe, but I think uh, Pact is the card we want there. Sensei is fine, it's upwheeling, wow. Uh, but Biden is... Four drop that draws me cards. Let's go for the Binance. I haven't actually played with it. It seems unlikely to be great though. <laughs> like, I, I should put it as like a seven drop. So, uh, given that we're not playing reds. Or seek, sure. Jace, sure. So the Seaver Exarch is probably gone. Um, I think the pact with Farseek had the first Titans. The first Titan is also gone. Um, and the upheaval is also gone. So we got the Farseek. So there are two other blue drafters apparently. Five cards need to go, huh? So I guess the Seaver Exarch, Pestermite can stay because it's a flyer. I think Wood Elves is gone. Um, so Wood Elves is gone, the Seaver Exarch is gone. Just because they're not that great to be honest. We are, we are already heavy on the three drops and those are the worst of them. Wood Elves will accelerate me into this but is that really that necessary? Uh, let's pick up the Flame Slash, we have some Red to play. Uh, I guess Lightning Greaves is a better card. Uh, don't see myself playing that immediately, but it is a good card. Uh, I'm not sure about the repeal either. We have four accelerants here, which is nice. I think we did manage to fill our two drop slot. Just sucks that we don't have a one drop. We do have one drop, but I mean, we don't have one mana accelerant. It's not the same. We have a single card draw. Mm, two, three, if you count these. Uh, I guess Falcon Red is a, bon is a better card against me. It's not bonkers. And Burning Tree, sure, not really my kind of card. <laughs> I want to say my kind of tea, but it's my cup of tea. This is what you get when you're not an English speak speaking commentator. You start messing up uh, on those things. So, creatures? Yeah. Wow, so, so much here. That's probably a bit too much as well. So, this is probably a later drop. So, I don't think I'll play the repeal main deck given that I have a fencer. Don't think I'll play the Wood Elves. Nor the Deceiver Exarch. 
So three more cards need to go. Um. Maybe I don't play the pack main deck. Hmm. I think I have to cut here. I have to cut start cutting here. Uh, Gary creates creatures. Jay's draws cards. Um, I think Biden might be better than Jay's though. But we need to have creature connecting, but it does force my opponent to attack as well. Like we can trade damage, and we draw cards then. So I think this is good enough. So I think it's better than Jay's and we can bring Jay's in against control. Though Binance is useless without creatures and Jay's is useful even when we don't have a creature. I don't know. This is a sacrifice right there. Maybe we're not needing the crafted war gear just because uh, we're not as early game focused as we imagined we would be. This does create monster creatures, but so does shit. So one more card. Oh, what should it be? Hmm. I think want to keep all of these, maybe the packs, maybe the Biden. So I'm looking at this and then I'm looking at the Coral Helm Commander just because it's double blue on the two drop slot. But I do like the card. I think the rest is just better though. The Grofella's accelerates. Um, scavenging ooze is life gain, grows, a good 2 drop. Pestermites. <laughs> no, it's flying, 2 on flying. Uh, if you can turn 3, play it, and then jit and swing with it to turn after, that's pretty big surprise. And we actually cut down onto our f 3 drops pretty heavily here. I think 4 of our, yeah, 4 of our 5 cut cards are 3 drops. So then I start looking at the four drops. Um, hmm. Maybe one of those has to go, like a four drop. To which one then? Like Sakashima. Sakashima is useless without anything, right? Yeah, but still. Like copying this or this or this. Or just your opponent's creature should be good enough. Plus, it allows you to get these back to your hand. I think Sakashima should stay. I think out of all of those, I, I really <coughs> want to cut back, to be honest. And bring it in against bomb heavy decks. Sure. Um, we don't have any fix right now. So, let's see what it suggests. 9 8. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, we're more heavy on the green S and in double. Seems about the right. Sure. I'll submit and I'll see you guys for round one.